We don't tend to come up with great solutions when we're really stressed out, anxious, worried and ruminating. Well, hello there, my friend Jonathan Doyle with you. And today you and I are going to talk about the absolute futility of worry. I think I can do this with a lot of expertise because at different points in my life, I have been a professional worrier. I think I've got a genetic predisposition for it, as many of us do. But we also live in a time in history when things we could be afraid of are kind of mainstreamed to our doorstep 24-7. At the time I record this, we're dealing in this country, for example, with housing crisis, rental affordability crisis, interest rate crisis, cost of living crisis, and then take a couple of moments to look out into the wider world. And of course, you see massive geopolitical problems. What's that all saying about uh, newspaper headlines? If it bleeds, it leads. It seems that so much of modern media is designed to get us to be afraid. So worry is an understandable reaction to many of the problems we face. I actually woke up at 2 a.m. this morning and I don't do this very often, but I had a huge amount on my mind. But here is part of what I want to offer you in today's message. I have learned after many, many years experience that there is absolutely nothing to be gained by rumination and worrying. What actually changes things is action. So the essence of what I want to share with you now is that if you find yourself worrying frequently, let me state the obvious, worrying doesn't actually solve anything. We would like to think that when we worry, we're actually solving complex problems. And if we worry long enough and hard enough, that we're in fact going to solve our problems. The opposite's actually true. We come up with great solutions for our problems when we are in peak states, when we are in relaxed or optimistic states, when we're feeling great about the world. We don't tend to come up with great solutions when we're really stressed out, anxious, worried and ruminating. So what I did this morning is as soon as I felt this worry kick in, I got out of bed at 2.22 a.m. and took massive action. And based on that, I want to give you today's quote. You ready? Let's do it. Do not worry about the past or the future. This moment needs your attention. For this is where your life exists. You know, the whole mindfulness thing can become so platitudinal. It can become something that we hear about so often that we forget to really realize the important underlying basis that it's pointing to, which is it's true. We can't do anything about the past. We can think about it intelligently and learn from it. And there's nothing we can do to really change the future per se, because we're not there yet. What we can do is take action in the present. So I just want to encourage you, if you find yourself at this particular moment in your life, given the global circumstances, the national circumstances, your family circumstances, your personal circumstances, whatever it is, all I want you to understand is worry won't change it. Action will. What sort of action? Well, that's the process of discernment, taking intelligent strategic action. But I just want to try and remind all of us to wean ourselves off the toxic cocktail of worry. Take action, my friend. Take action. Just get yourself taking choices, making decisions, moving forward, because it's going to do so much more for you than worry actually will. All right, please take a moment to check out all the links under here. The podcast is is there. My website is there. You can find me on Instagram. If you want to book me to speak live, consultancy projects, it is all under here. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. For now, that's it. Feeling worry-free. You and I, we're going to talk again tomorrow.